What's going on everybody? Hi. Today we are joined with a not so special guest, I guess. I'm kidding. Oh my gosh, you guys. Tom Daly. What the hell? Making me feel welcome. I know, right? welcome Thank you. Guys. Hello everyone. Before we get started on this insane video, you have to go watch the video we did on Tom's channel. It was disgusting. <laughs> I tried the some of the most like the well-known American breakfast cereals. Breakfast cereals. And I, never did I realize how much sugar they all contained yeah. and how any American child managed to survive growing up on them. But anyway, we didn't. We're not alive. I mean, you know, you're doing what you're doing, but now I'm looking at the other kind of things that you <laughs> eat that are right in front of me, and I don't even know what I've got myself into, if I'm yes, honest. that's exactly what the tea is, right? I'm gonna show him some weird southern United States dishes. The southern United States is a weird place already, you know. Great food, though. I do love good food. I, in Texas, Lance's brother lives there and has some of the most So Texas is so different, food. too. And everywhere has got these different types of foods, you yeah. know? Everything is so different. What we're doing today is I'm gonna make Tom eat some of the weird, traditional Arkansas, and not even specifically all of Arkansas, but like my family in Arkansas's, like weird foods, like um, that we eat I mean, kind of regularly, and that a lot of my friends and family eat. I have friends that are from Arkansas that are like, we don't eat any of this stuff. So obviously, stereotypes. Just said don't eat regularly. But um, some of this stuff, like I have at Thanksgiving every year, so like it's stuff that's consistent for me, and it's gonna be weird. You're yeah, gonna I was gonna it. say all these combinations that I've we've been discussing about what I'm about to eat. There's three things. So <clears throat> yes. He's gonna eat three things, one at a time here. I think you should start with the staple, this one, honestly. But put it this way, I like all of the ingredients individually, but mixed together, just why? Yeah, I think that's what it is, it's just weird southern combinations of food, because we were like, oh, this is all we have in our pantry, and the grocery store is a mile, or like, you have to like drive like an hour to get to the grocery store, so, so I'm just why would you put, put extra, it So why would you do that? <laughs> well, I don't know what that one was about, but that's so true. So the first thing that we have here is apple pie with cheddar cheese on top. Like, that's pretty common. I know a lot of people that do that one. So you've had apple pie before. Yes. And you've had cheddar cheese before. Yes. You never had them together. No. But it's like salty sweet, you know, it's super popular. I think it looks beautiful. It does smell good. Yeah, it smells delicious. Well, we almost lost it. <laughs> so you have to get an <laughs> apple gonna, and the cheese. I'm gonna try a bit of the apple first. Oh, just the apple. Mm. Okay, right. Does it taste okay? Yeah. I mean, so we just did like apple pie from the store that is not homemade, which is obviously not gonna be as good. With some cheese slices. I'm ready there. for it. I'm ready for you to try this. No, look at that face. That's I just don't, I just don't, under, I, I mean, it's one of those things that I, it was so weird and disgusting, not necessarily disgusting. I like how he's pushing the cheese. Now right I now. want to like retry it. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of one of those things like, what did it I just shocking. taste? It was shocking, like I what did I try that again. Look at he's going for round two. What a trooper. I mean, it's weird, but it's kind of like, it's weird, but surprisingly good. Look at him eating. I'm gonna like. Thing. I'm just gonna eat that. He's whole. gonna eat the whole piece of pie and the cheese. Not the guess. whole piece of pie. Right. Okay. I'm gonna have another spit. I'm impressed. Like you said, it makes it the sweet and salty. Yeah. It's yeah. a thing. I love sweet and salty. So that was. I, I mean, mean, not too bad. You no. think it's alright? Alright. It was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I genuinely thought that it was gonna be a disaster nope. waiting to happen. Well, we're not done yet. For the next one, this is a common thing that my family has done. Um, and I've, I've read about this online too, that a lot of people do this. So here we have regular, your favorite um, Oreo sandwich cookies. These are actually double stuff, but that was an accident, but they're obviously it doesn't matter. And then over here we have. Well, these are no sugar added sliced peaches. I don't think I meant to grab that kind. We got some sliced peaches in that, sugar. like, in that, like, syrup. syrup, you know? So you got the, and you just pour some of that syrup and those peaches on here and you eat them together. And it's kind of like, um, peach cobbler kind of thing, right? But with Oreos as your crust and your base. So it's really good and it's easy and I'm probably super healthy, right? Like, this is what strong boys are made out of, right? So we're just kind of peaches. So oh, you just wow. pour some of that on there, and you just put the goo. Again, I like peach, and I like the peach syrup, and I like Oreos. Again, together, I don't know if I've ever experienced So I would probably it. break the Oreo and eat it with the peach, yeah. Because you want it to be kind of like soaked in the juice. So like, I would eat it, yeah. Yeah. There you go. And then you just want to eat some of the Oreo and the peach. Okay, right. 
And these peaches are like the best, you know? Oh my god, I'm like drooling over here watching me eat this. I have had some already. Good, right? Surprisingly good. Not bad. I would never have ever, thought ever to thought to do that. Like when you're in the grocery store, you just go in and you walk down an aisle and you're like, what's the most random thing actually really that good. I can put together? Really good, right? Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna carry on for just a second. <laughs> All these weird combinations. Like, why don't we have these in the UK? I'm sure you. I'm sure that the weird places in the UK have some stuff like that. But is that something that you would just have at home, or is that something that you could also get at a restaurant if you wanted it? I have been to places that make peach cobbler with Oreos in them, like in a restaurant, but it's not like just oh. so simple as pouring peaches on Oreos. I think that that would just be kind of, that would be a joke. It's good, good, right? Yeah, I love it. That juice soaks up in the Oreos and makes it like soft, mm. softer, you know? So That's the Oreos, good. it's like dipping Oreos in milk, but dipping Oreos in fruit. Each juice or fruit, yeah. See? Healthy. Healthy. Yeah. It's got fruit. Yeah. There you it's go. got fruit. It's healthy. <laughs> No sugar added. Actually, that's not too bad, right? Half a cup is only seven grams. It's not terrible. These, on the other hand, that's your problem. Yeah. That's okay. The no sugar added one says half the calories and sugar of peaches in heavy syrup. Well, I bet the heavy syrup would probably taste even better then. Probably would taste yeah, even yeah, better. That's probably what we use. Now the thing is, the last one that we're about to taste is the one that I'm dreading most. Every Thanksgiving at my house, my family always makes this concoction. Here it is. <laughs> It's called apple and banana salad, right? So there is no salad. There is no lettuce. There's um, apple and banana. Though. It's apples and bananas and mayonnaise. Not Miracle Whip. Mayonnaise, okay? What's Miracle Whip? It's like this like weird mayonnaise substitute stuff that people are going to comment about and say, you're gross for liking mayonnaise and not Miracle Whip. It's like a competitor across the U.S. Oh, okay. Like mayo and Miracle Whip, they're like brand names of mayonnaise. Okay, and see. And the mayo, the mayonnaise, actual mayonnaise brand, mayo brand is so, it's just so different. Okay. Yeah. So, you take and chop up some apples and bananas and you cover it in mayo. Obviously not like reduced fat mayo or anything because that would be too healthy for us. Far too healthy. For and I salad. literally, we have this every holiday, like uh, at Thanksgiving and Christmas. My dad always makes it for us and we always eat it. Oh, this one I'm really not sure about. So, okay, smell it first. Yeah. Oh, it's really... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like the... sweet mayo. Yeah. Right? Okay, so yeah. banana, apple, and mayo. All yeah, you want all three. Yeah, I like them all individually. Yeah. Ryan was like, don't make him eat this. Ryan did not like it at my family uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas last year. Not bad. Not bad. Mm. I love it. <laughs> I mean, it's fine in any kind of mayonnaise delivery device. It's great. Mm. But it's weird and it's fruit. On my plate, there'll be like turkey or ham and dressing, a dinner roll, green bean casserole, this stuff in like its own section. And mashed potatoes. Yeah. And gravy. Giblet wow. gravy. Do you know what giblet gravy is? <laughs> oh, or, is it from the giblets? Like the inside yeah. of the tent? And then they make like a gravy out of it. It's so oh. good. It's so good. So salty. What's your favorite, if you had to pick? My favorite was definitely the cheese. The cheese and the apple on the apples. Pie. That's good. Yeah, that's a pretty common one. I think it's because of the pastry and the yeah. apple and the sweet and the cheese. There's I a mean, lot of work good. that goes into an apple pie. Yeah, you know, like and then to put cheese on it. I guess you put cheese on the leftover slices maybe the next day. And that makes it taste better. Mind blown. That's what it is. Yeah. We, get we revive different. our apple pie with yeah. cheese. And when right. you had it two days in a row, it's like I gotta have something different. Yeah. Because they probably eat it every day in a row. In but then places. I think I would actually, I don't know if I would take this back to the UK though. I yeah. mean, it's good, but I'm gonna leave it in America. Right. The Thank peach you. and Oreo combination though. Because you guys have. I might use that. You guys have Oreos over in the UK that you get your double. I mean, we have all there. of these ingredients over there. That's so. true. That's true. So you could bring yeah. them all. Bring them all. Make everyone try it. We could do them all. If you like this video, be sure you leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't already, and remember to go watch Tom's video over on his channel and give him a subscription as well. You probably all already subscribed to him, but no. just go do it if you don't already. He makes some awesome content, especially with like fitness and stuff like that, and you guys are always asking for that. Like, this is your guy. Every Wednesday you get a video on my See? channel for workout. And that is like literally a comment that I get every other hour. So please, somebody go and watch all those videos. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys, go watch those videos. Do you have anything else to add? No, nothing else to add. I'm gonna. So I'm just gonna be here you finishing these mushed Oreos. Oreos. Look at their falling apart. While you do your outro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So.
Even he even spills all on his white shirt. I really hope you like this video. I'll see you guys soon. And remember, never stop learning. Never stop learning. Never stop learning, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. <laughs>